Hi, my name is Ali Shesva from Bridge Digital. We are at the booth of Omicron Lab at PCIM in Nuremberg. In one of our previous videos, we talked about voltage mode control and we showed how its frequency response changes with input voltage. Uh, we also suggested that a voltage mode with voltage feed forward changes this problem. In this video, we're going to show exactly how voltage mode with voltage feed forward works and uh, how the frequency response does not change with input voltage. The problem with the standard voltage mode is that the frequency response changes directly and proportionally with the input voltage. And as a result, the uh, a transient response also changes. The problem is that in standard voltage mode, we have a term which is V in divided by V ramp in the transfer function. Now the ramp is a function of the chip, so that is a that that on a standard voltage mode is just a constant, and you'd pick that out of the data sheet. And V in is your input voltage, and of course V in changes. And if V in changes, you can see that because this term appears in your transfer function, the uh, loop crossover will change, and therefore the transient response will change. And we have actually shown this in a different video. So in order to solve this uh, problem, engineers went on and they invented something called uh, voltage mode with input voltage feed forward. Uh, and what they did was they changed this value of the ramp to a constant divided by V in. Now that is being done internally inside of the chip. You can now see that if V in halves up here, the ramp in fact will double. So this term here will completely cancel out any changes in the end and therefore the frequency response of uh, this type of controller will stay constant or should stay constant as we change the input voltage and therefore transient response should not deteriorate. So now we're going to go to our lab setup, we're going to measure the frequency response, we're going to change the input voltage and show that in fact everything remains constant. Okay, so here we've got our left lab set up. I have got a uh, LM27402 uh, chip from TI on the EVM. And uh, this is a voltage mode with voltage feed forward. So first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to do a transient response test. I'm giving, going to give it a load step. First, I'm going to do it with the input voltage of 10 volts. And then I'm gonna increase the input voltage to 20 volts and do it again. On a standard voltage mode, as we have shown in our previous video, the, the transient response will change. On this one, because of the way the chip has been designed, the transient response should stay constant. So uh, first, uh, this is 10 volts. I have set up uh, the oscilloscope. I am triggering on my load, and I'm just going to give it a load a step and wait for it to trigger. There we go. You will see Oops, the steps that I'm giving it. Let me just increase that a little bit. There we go. Okay, so uh, now, please bear this shape in mind. I'm now going to double the voltage and I expect this not to change very much. So at the moment I'm on 10 and I'm going to go up to actually 19 because I don't want to blow up the chip just in the middle of a demo. So we are on 19 volts now, and I'm going to give it a load step again. And you can see that it barely changes. And that is because of that extra term that they have put in the transfer function. And that means that the frequency response doesn't change. So we've seen that the transverse response is the same. So now I'm going to measure the loop with my body 100 and uh, we are going to see that the loop response also remains constant. So I'm going to have to change the setup a little bit, and then we're gonna look at the frequency response. Okay, so I have just uh, changed the setup on my LM27402. Uh, uh, I have now uh, taken off the oscilloscope, 
I have uh, put in the Body 100 with a uh, injection transformer. I'm injecting a signal into the chip and then I am plotting the body plot on the computer. At the moment, the input voltage is 10. So what you're seeing now here on the computer is the uh, frequency response at 10 volts. So I'm just gonna save that into memory so that we can compare it. And then I'm going to increase the input voltage. On a standard voltage mode, this would shift in proportion with the input voltage. Because of the way this particular chip is designed, I don't expect this to change at all. So I have saved my trace, and let's see if, if the frequency response changes or not. So 11, 12, 13, you can see that the the, there's the damping, the damping is changing a little bit, but the phase, the crossover frequency, none of that is changing. 14, 15, 16, there's absolutely no change. Again, I expect, I expect the, uh, um, the damping to go down. The crossover frequency should stay pretty much constant, as you can see, 17, 18. And again, I'm not gonna go any higher than that because I don't wanna blow up the chip just before the end of our demo. Uh, this is exactly what you expect. And of course, in a standard voltage mode, this would have changed. Because the frequency response is not changing, you saw that the transient response also remained constant. So I uh, hope you enjoyed the video and uh, please check out our brand new power supply control loop uh, design workshop with Texas Instruments on our website, breacher.com.